every transfer window we're getting better players that can play different more than one position which Arteta loves look at that football on his left foot I told you he's both foot look at that look at that football on his left foot Jeez. then after finding my home here in North London I decided to my to this club Jeez. my club our club So a few days ago, we see Benjamin White sign a contract extension and it was a different video. It was a different um, feeling because we see that for the first time, we've done like a, a montage of different players giving um, some congratulations, showing some, giving some praise to Benjamin White for how he is as a character, him as a person. And it's the first time we've seen that. And we see a different approach from the media team and I have to give the Arsenal media team some praise because once again they hit the nail on the head or should I say they knock the ball out the park so Tommy also got a contract extension and his video is unique I thought when I saw the Benjamin White video I'm, I'm thinking are they gonna do this for every player that gets a contract extension every signing we get we get they're gonna do something like this and they surprised me already we see Benjamin White was different from Tommy Yasuo. Tommy Yasuo, I love it. If you're an anime fan, you will love Tommy Yasuo contract extension video. It's immense. <laughs> I'm telling you, that videographer deserve a raise. He deserve a raise. I'm gonna take a look in the, in, in the. I'm also gonna take a look into Tommy Yasuo. What we've been missing because we've been missing Tommy Yasuo for the majority of the season. So we're gonna take a look into the qualities of Tommy Yasuo. And it, we see that we've got Timberback, we've got Benjamin White. We've got Gabriel Magalhães, we've got Saliba, we've got Kiwio, we've got Zinchenko back from injury as well, and Tamiyasu. So these are, we've got so much different players that can basically integrate in the team different ways uh, in the defence. And I love to see that because we see that we've got the biggest, best defence in the Premier League. And that's for a reason. It's because of these players, how they play, how they can interchange, how the manager can use them so far in the season and we haven't had Timber and we haven't had Tamiyasu so we're going to take a look into what Tamiyasu can add because trust me he's going to play a vital part coming down to the end of the season Timber is very good but I don't think he's going to be as fit as Tamiyasu so Tamiyasu might even come into the team quicker than Timber uh, and I know Kiwi has been doing very well so most fans will say nah 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 don't touch Kiwi leave him but let's just get straight into the announcement video now just the <clears throat> Now, just the song, just the atmosphere, just the the music in the background, that alone get you feeling like a bit excited. As, o, as what I'm saying, if you're an anime fan, you will love it. Because guess what? He's in Japanese. A Japanese. <laughs> Japanese. I'm telling you, this they, 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 go, they went all out for this one. Anime fans, you will love it. Now, the Japanese. You cannot tell me that you don't love that video. You cannot tell after finding he said he dedicated and that's one thing you need to realize dedication remember that word dedication because even arteta has been saying after the signing that listen he's a very dedicated player he loves tommy and it's the same dedication you see in this video this guy says that these are japanese proverbs through persistency through persistency comes strength now all of this he's saying that listen he realized early in his life that he needs to dedicate himself to whatever he does and he's dedicated himself to the arsenal football club he found a home and he's dedicated to us uh don't you just love that video i got excited when i saw that i get pumped up i got gassed because he's back from injury as well so he can show us some of that dedication on the pitch and i know we will because we all know that tommy has to fall for um last season he looked like he was better than benjamin white at some point it looked like he got that good that he's better but i know that injuries have plagued him but man when he's fully fit he can give benjamin white a run for his money and you hear me say that benjamin white for me has been the player of the season so far in terms of the most improved player so far for me benjamin white hands down the best improved player so for to, for me to be saying that Tommy also at some point looked like he was better than Benjamin White when he's full fitness last season, imagine 
if he get a season, a good spell in the team, no injury. The same level of coaching he, um, Benjamin White gets and he, um, Tommy Elsa gets, imagine how far it would be. But let's just let's just finish talking. Let, let's get into his video now. He's a very gifted player, both footed. <laughs> he links up well with, with Saka. He links up well with the other team. Nice little touch to Saka. Saka have a shot scores. And he can he can have a shot from outside the box as well. Which we started to see before he got injured, we started to see a bit of that. He's very good with and, and a very good one-on-one -on -one as well. Nice shield, very good technical ability, and very good one-on-one. -on -one. Look at that. Look how fast he gets across the pitch there. You get ahead of that. When he's playing for Japan. Sane, you know Sane's pace, you know Sane's speed. He got back. He got back and done a brilliant challenge on Sane. Not even having a, having a shot and goal. I remember this cross. That was a brilliant cross to Odegaard. Nice finish from Odegaard. This is when Tommy also was fit. Look at that. Very comfortable on the ball. He's not as comfortable as Timba, but he's very comfortable on the ball. He's more comfortable than, than Kivio, that's for sure. And you know that he can play both right back, he can play left back. So that, that versatility, I remember this goal, brilliant goal from him. His versatility is very important for us going on in the future. You see Declan Rice and Saka giving a round of applause. Once again, read the wall early, got, cro got across, got head on it. Committed, dedicated to that challenge, I should say. <laughs> nice, winning that duel. Nice challenge. Yeah, man, you see on, his, on the left wing, on the left back position. Beating the, the, the attacker, going on the byline. Now he's at right back. What a pass! What a pass! And that's a very good thing he has that Timber doesn't have, and Kiwia doesn't have, and Benjamin White doesn't have is that he's both footed. Nice cross, brilliant assist. Just missing the target from Havertz. <laughs> missing kick. But yeah, he's always on the front foot as well. I see him right there. Cool collected. You remember this goal against City? Yes, absolutely magnificent. It was the one that I did it down to Havertz. Now you see that position in which I was saying is the same thing with Benjamin White. You see sometimes Benjamin White pops up on the right hand side in the same position. And the other day he scored a goal. Sometimes he assists. It's the same thing. Look at Tommy Osso. Tommy Osso is in the box with, with Havertz. That's creating a lot of overload in terms of players that can have headers. And listen, they're not expecting Tommy Osso to be there. By Tommy Osso being there, you see Kyle Walker has to drift back. By Tommy Osso bombing forward, that they restrict Kyle Walker from coming forward. So he has to stay back. So you see Kyle Walker has to be marking Tommy Osso. And Tommy Osso is very good in the air. Havertz is good in the air. So that creates a nice little... Um, centerpiece for us to have some error run and that's what that's exactly what happened Thomas the editor have a, have a pass and it led to Martinelli's goal so that's something you notice that it's not just uh, uh, um, uh, Benjamin White Tommy also is being coached the same way and when Timber comes back we're going to see how he's being coached which is going to be the same way but I believe he has a higher ceiling because he's younger than Benjamin White and he's more technically gifted than Benjamin White that's Julian Timber by the way nice little chest down turn Looking for the pass, simple. What is he going to do? What a strength. Brilliant strength. Who's that? Sani again? Oh, sorry. He was dealing with... It's like he had something uh, uh, personal against Sani that match. Against... Uh, with Japan. Nice interception. Cutting the ball out. No nonsense defending clearing. And he actually went to um, Gabriel Martinelli. Brilliant shot, brilliant goal. And that was an assist by Tom Yasu. In there. He's like a bulldog, man. I'm telling you, the way he plays, it's like a bulldog. No nonsense. Early cross inning for Gabriel Dre. And that's something you see Benjamin White is trying to improve on as well, the, the early crosses. And you see Tom Yasu was doing it before he got injured. I love the way he plays. Is not the most technical in terms of um, when you compare him to all the best right backs. Oh, I remember this chance. He's not the most technical gifted when you compare him to the right backs, the best right backs in the world. But he got he, he has everything. 
he's got a bit of everything and sometimes you need that player a player like that that has a bit of everything that the main part is very good at defending he's very good at one-on-one -on -one. so it's like we've got players that can do everything we've got players that are good at one-on-one -on -one. we've got players good at attacking more than defending we've got players that good at defending more than attacking which is Kivio we've got a fullback in all aspects and areas different quality different levels We've got fullback in everything, and they also can play a centre back. That's the thing. Thomas can play centre back. Um, Timber can play centre back. Benjamin White can play centre back. So it's ah, I love it, man. I love the way we've been improving in quantity and quality. We're not substituting substituting quality for quantity, um, like we once were. We've improving the team. Every transfer we know we're getting better players that can play different more than one position, which Arteta loves. Look at that football on his left foot. I told you he's both foot. Look at that. Look at that football on his left foot. Nice little header on. Nice little chest down. One on one with Sterling. Dealt with him nicely. He's very good in the air as well. So, as a fullback, normally fullbacks aren't good in the air. But we'll see that Tammy also, when he plays, is good in the air. Kivio, when he plays, is good in the air. So, that's an extra um, set piece um, bonus for us. Uh, to another two player that's good in the air that can join the set piece play that would only bring more goal for us <laughs> and we already have so many much, much as well brilliant defending taking the ball off his foot look at that taking the ball off his hips another one brilliant challenge brilliant technical through ball technical play see him try to run for the return as well oh you see that he pretend like he was gonna go um, cut back and he actually dragged the ball forward He's got some good um, um, technical ability. He's got good technical ability. Once again, nice in front of goal, making that block. Nice interception. I love the way he fights. He's always in a fight. Even if the, 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 it looks like it's a, sim, it's a nice little easy chance, he's in the fight. He's gonna make it into a fight, even if it, it doesn't have to be. Look at this. I remember why he why he was brilliant this match, and Tamiyasu was on him like a rash. Nice a twist and turn. What a ball! What a ball! Oh man, Martinelli messed up on that. That was a brilliant play by Tamiyasu. You see them little one-two technical play. Get used to it, cause we're gonna see a lot more of that, especially the way I said that our right backs have been coached, and our left back as well, ultra attacking. Nice tackle, no crossing in. What a pass by by Thomas to Kai. Nice block. Nice spray. Nice cut. Nice dribbling, man. Nice defending. Thomas is very safe. Is very is uh, um, a very safe play. You know you're gonna get a ten out of ten performance from him most of the times. Nice little ball over the top. When he's back in full um, full fitness, I'm telling you, he's gonna give Benjamin White a run for his money. He's gonna give Kivio a run for his money. Even Timber. But then again, I just I just think Timber is too special, man. But if Timber comes back in top form, I think he's gonna be too special. Now, someone was saying that he didn't have much expectation for Timber this season because of the ACL and it's a bad injury to come back from. But even if Timber doesn't come back to full fitness, we still have Tamiyasu. And we see that Tamiyasu has been injured time and time again. And he has the ability to come back and peak form. So if you're not excited about Timber, which I believe you should do, then get excited for Tamiyasu because Tamiyasu is coming back in the team when the team has confidence. And he's going to basically add to that confidence. He's going to add to that um, display. He's going to add to that, especially with a signing extension video like that. Man, just hurry up and come in my team, Tamiya. So, so that's the video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Help me on my journey to a thousand sub. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And Teki Hero Tamiyasu, let me know what you feel about watching that video, that announcement video. Because me, it stirs something in me, especially because I'm an anime fan. I loved it. Catch you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.